Does technology help us solve climate change or does it contribute to it? Technology is, without any doubt, powerful. It makes our life easier, better, safer, and even more entertaining. But is it doing good to the planet? It depends on how you look at it. Take this electric bike. It makes it easier to cycle to places and consumes way less resources than a car or a motorbike. Or is it depleting more resources than a normal bicycle? Hence defeating the purpose. Some environmental impacts of technology may be surprising. Did you know that bitcoins demand as much energy as Malaysia and twice as much as the whole of Austria? As a society, we have a responsibility to use technological solutions that use our precious environmental resources efficiently. Food waste is a perfect example of an inefficient use of our planet's resources. When we waste food, all the energy put into producing it is lost, and additional damage is made when we dispose of it incorrectly. At Living Farms, we develop technologies to manage food waste that are in sync with nature. We learn from nature, where the food waste management of choice are microbes and insects. Our job is to develop tech that amps up their superpower. We may all be familiar with solutions to food waste like composting and biodigesters that involve the superpowers of microbes. We may be a little less familiar with the use of the superpowers of insects to that purpose. And why should we prefer a solution that crawls and flies as opposed to the good old composting? Let us introduce to you the Pyramid of Food Waste Management. According to the pyramid, the higher up solutions to food waste are the most desirable. For example, we should always, first and foremost, reduce waste. Maybe by buying just what we need or saving our leftovers for an afternoon snack. When that is not possible and there is food waste, we should consider reusing. For example, by using our food scraps to make stock. At the center of Living Farms Technologies, we have tiny superheroes that rocked this pyramid. The black soldier flies. They reduce food waste. We feed them food waste and they can reduce its weight by 70% just by digesting it. They reuse. Many types of household food waste or byproduct from businesses like bakeries and retailers can be reused to feed black soldier fly larvae as opposed to being disposed. Recycle. When feeding the flies with food waste, they take in the nutrients and become rich, mostly in protein, but also other nutrients such as vitamins and fatty acids. We can then use the flies as high quality and complete feed for other farm animals and humans. Recovery. Fun fact, remember when we said the flies can help us reduce food waste by 70%? On top of that, they save us from using loads of energy to dry food waste from excess water. While in other food waste management facilities, a lot of electricity is used to generate heat in this process, at Living Farms, our heroes, the flies, do the job simply by digesting. You are probably wondering, okay, but why would I want to be around a huge amount of critters and larvae and flies? Is it worth the hassle? Well, you actually do not need to see it if it bothers you. Have you ever been to a food waste management facility? Unless you work in one or for one, food waste management is a process that does not happen right in front of us, regardless of the technology. Even your composting bin is a bit of a black box. Living Farms Hive Pro technology is organized in modules, each one taking care of one phase of the process. In module one, the processing of the food waste happens and turns it into an input that is appropriate to feed insects. In module two, we have an automated hub that uses robotics to dose, feed, separate and harvest black soldier fly larvae. Module three is a space efficient, multi-layered system of trays set up for the rearing of insects to take place in an enclosed environment, making this the ideal solution for urbanized environments. And finally, in module four, the processing happens. The final product is processed into protein powders, healthy fats and oils, and fertilizer. Through automation, the technology becomes affordable. Together with the modular design, the process becomes also energy and time efficient, making it scalable and environmentally sound. Last but not least, it's simple enough for businesses to adopt it without needing specialized knowledge. Some technologies are interruptions. They change the way we do things to then go back to normal. Here at Living Farms, we hope our technology is a disruption and that it will make the market change for good.